So we're serving the chicken with the crispy bits as well as the firm tofu which we have dipped in batter and deep fried too. The chili that we have made just now. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be showing you how to make a simple sabal belacin. So let's start cooking. I'm just going to prepare the sambal belacin now. I have with me over here 20 grams of belacin. I'm just going to dry roast this over a hot pan. How do you know that it's ready when it actually crumbles easily? So over a low heat, fry this. Don't burn this. Okay, this will take a little bit of time. It will be a little bit pungent. Belacin is actually a fermented prawn. Okay, but if you actually dry roast this and fry this, or even roast this over in a air fryer, the fragrance is absolutely amazing. Right? It tastes so much better than it, when it's actually in its raw state. So that's what we are doing over here. You can easily get this from supermarket, or if you are from the western part of the world itself, I think most Asian supermarkets should have this. Just a couple of minutes more and I think we will be done. To me, this fragrance is really, really fantastic. But of course, if you are not used to this, then this might smell a bit pungent to you. But you really need this in order to make a good chili. Well, this is almost done and we will remove this from here and fry the rest of the ingredients. In the same pan, add a little bit of oil. I'm going to show you this very easy way to make this sambal belacin chili. I have with me over here, six pieces of chili. I've deseeded it. Three pieces of small chili or chili party or bursai chili as they call it. Also deseeded. Two pieces of garlic. And four pieces of shallots. Just put everything in. Just fry them for a while. For about two minutes or so. And then we'll blend everything together. We just want to release the fragrance from all these beautiful ingredients that we have. Now if you do not have a food processor at home, you can always use a traditional pasta and mortar. To save time and to make it easier, I'll be using my Magic Mix food processor. Now for frying chili, I always like to suggest to use medium to low heat. Don't turn up the heat too high or you'll burn them easily. You just want to cook them a little bit so that they'll taste better. Now why do I want to de the chili is because I want the spiciness without the heat. Right, sometimes when you eat chili outside, it tastes really good but the heat lingers on in your tongue. That is because of the seed. So do take out the seed, it will be so much easier on your tongue. Okay, so this is done. Now we will go and mix this up and mix it up in my food processor. Now using my Magic Mix processor, I'm going to mix everything up. Point what we have fried just now, the chili, the shallots and the garlic into the processor. The blachet. I've also prepared a tomato. I've de skinned it, so just put it in also. We need to balance up the taste a little bit. I'm just going to add in half a teaspoon of sugar first. I'm also going to add in one tablespoon of lime juice. You can use calamasi or lemon juice, it's really up to you. De skinning the tomato is very simple. What I did was I actually made a cross on the bottom of the tomato boil in water and soak it immediately in ice water and it's very easy just to take out the skin. It's very simple. If you want to know how to do this, just give us a message. Maybe we can do a video for you. So when this is done, just close everything up. We'll just roughly chop this up. We don't need to mince this. So just... Let's have a look. Push everything back down again just to mix them up really well. One more round and I think we should be done. Okay, let's just give this beautiful chili a taste. Mm. The fragrance from the belacin, the spiciness from the chili, they're all merging together, plus the tanginess of the lime juice. This is beautiful. This goes super well with the ayam pinyat that we'll be making, as well as with the rice. So I'll show you how this chili looks like. Well, this is how we want the chili to be. And so the samba chili is done. It's great to go with 
fried chicken, with noodles, with rice or anything. It's an integral part of people living in Southeast Asia. And so I hope you enjoyed our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.